Good morning and welcome to story time today. Thank you for joining in and today we are reading Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. So wherever you're joining us, you are very welcome and have a lovely, lovely morning. Good morning to you, Maya, and good morning to you, Vincent. Good morning to you, Shah. Thank you so much. I'm glad you could join in today for Sulwe. Ingrid, good morning to you and Anders, how are you doing today? So glad you are joining us. Welcome to story time today. Good morning everybody, please let us know where you are joining from and what kind of day you're having. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Ingrid, much appreciated. Good morning to you. <laughs> Yes, today we are reading Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o, kind of a little bit based on herself. Awesome, great to hear that, Shah. I'm glad that it is a beautiful day out in Long Beach. And hopefully you can get to go on a nice walk or something um, safe like that. All right, and good morning to you, Isabella. How are you doing today? <laughs> and Maya, take that door that leads to Oakland. Maybe we'll see you here. <laughs> Good morning to you, Maya, in Long Beach. Good morning to you, Miss Vera. How are you doing today? I'm so glad you could join in. Welcome. Good morning to you, Naima. And you are watching with your sister today. Nia, how are you doing, Nia? Excellent. Thank you, thank you, um, Isabella. And good morning to you, Lily. And good morning to you, Justine. Messages are coming in fast and furious. Missing some of them. Yes. Oh, yes, Lily, you are welcome. You did the hard work to get that bad. So it is well earned. It is yours, and I'm glad that you love it. Thank you so much. Yes, so everybody that had entered and got the um, official story time with Mr. Limada word collector badge, they were handed out yesterday, and Lily was one of those recipients. Good morning to you, Lily. And good morning to you. Good morning to you, Obsa. How are you doing today? So glad you could join in. Ellen in Chicago. How are you today? Good morning, good morning. I'm so glad you could join in. More snow, you say? Oh my God, that is crazy. Yes, no, sunny out in Oakland and apparently Long Beach is also a beautiful day today. So yeah, tell us how it is where you are. <laughs> I am great, Obsa. Thank you for asking. I am doing great. Thank you. Good morning to you, Lydia, joining us from Berkeley. How are you doing today? And good morning to you, Zaire and Shemrin. I'm so glad that you could join in this morning. I hope you are having a lovely day so far. Yes. Just waiting on everybody to join in. We'll give it another two minutes. Just check in on who's coming in. People can get settled. I know that school has started and like online classes and everything else that people might be doing. So just giving them time. We can have a quick start. All right. Good morning to you, Ali May. How are you doing? I hope you are enjoying your... Um, Storytime Word Collector Badge. Thank you so much for your entry. And good morning to you, Amado, right here in Auckland. Welcome. <laughs> I will see you in class later on, but welcome to Storytime and hopefully you enjoy Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. And good morning to you, Ada. How are you doing? Lady Elsa, it was good to see you yesterday. And congratulations to you, Owen, on your storytime badge. I hope you are enjoying it. Good morning to you, Owen. And good morning to you, Stefan. And good morning to you, Ilya. 
Yes, keep those messages coming. Let us know where you are joining us from. And so we know um, who's with us. Yes, and if it's your birthday, please let us know. Good morning to you, everybody, and welcome to story time. We're about to start Lupita Nyongo's Sulwe. And the illustrations are by uh, Vashti Harrison. Yes, Vashti Harrison. Good morning to you, Lacey. How are you doing today? I'm so glad you could join in. I am fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking Owen and Ada and family. I appreciate that. I am doing great. And Lydia says, good morning to everyone. Yes, good morning to everyone in the Storytime community. So glad that people could join in. Thank you so much for all the messages. Yes, we are getting ready to get started. Yes, yes, good catch, Owen. The Sulwe song was definitely the one that we did for the Black History Showcase. The first grade Emerson crew did that song. That was beautiful from both classes. Yes, yes, yes. And Miss Samia, thank you for the choreography for our Black History Showcase. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you could also join us. Good morning to you, Mateo and Leon. So glad you're here. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Samia. Thank you so much. Much needed. Absolutely. Good morning to you, Josiah. How are you doing today? So glad you're here. Yes, awesome. I am glad everybody is getting in and getting settled and we will get started. All right, we have somebody new joining us today and her name is Hattie and she is two years old. Well, good morning to you, Hattie, and welcome to story time. I'm so glad you're here. Tell us where you are enjoying story time from. Good morning to you, Hattie. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. And Maya and Raven, you are welcome today. Good morning to you. Yes, Maya, I am glad that you got your word collector badge. Thank you so much for confirming that. I am absolutely thrilled for everybody that got their card. You guys earned it. You did the hard work and sent in your submission. So it was only right that you get you get what is deserved. Thank you so much. Good morning to you, Maya and Raven. Yes. And after this, if you're interested, we're going to have the Sulwe song up on the wall. It will be uh, available so you can click on that. And then also, if you're just interested, just look up Sulwe song and it will pop right up. And if it's kids from my class or the other first grade class with Miss Price, they will get to it right away. They know exactly where to find it. <laughs> oh, love you too, Lily. Thank you so much. <laughs> and also remember that the dance party is back on the Emerson Instagram page with Miss um, Price and Miss Dexter. It will be on this afternoon at 1. So be sure to join them for that. Uh, last time it was awesome fun. I got to see a bit of it. Join in again today. I'm sure you are in for another treat. Good job to you, Miss Price and Miss Dexter, in organizing that dance party. All right, we will get started now with story time. Lupita Nyongo's Sulwe and illustrations are by Vashti Harrison. Oh, yes, and a warm welcome to you, Olive Oil. I'm glad you could catch us before we start the story. Good morning, welcome. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're also able to get on how to teach a monster to read. So that's exciting. Good stuff. All right, Lupita Nyongo's Sulwe and illustrations by Vashti Harrison. All right, this book is all about finding that inner beauty. So let's appreciate that and enjoy Sulwe. Sulwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba the color of dusk. 
And Mitch, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Sulwe either. People gave her sister Mitch pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Sulwe names like Blackie and Dark, Darkie and Night. Sulwe felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Sulwe dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer of her, of her darkness. That hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Sulwe decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest food. With a stomachache, she went to bed. She went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, she said in her prayer, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as, my, as the parents I am from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and you would like and would like to comply may i wake up as bright as the sun in the sky amen when mama came in to wake her up for school the next morning sulwe rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin sulwe told mama everything Mama asked, what is, what is your name? Sulwe, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Sulwe whispered again. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulwe's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful. Sulwe just sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself and how and not how others see you. Now, up you go, and up you go. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Sulwe's window. That, the night sent me, the star said. Come with me. Sulwe hopped onto the star and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day and they were sisters. They loved each other very much. But people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave Day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave na night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth.
They stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then they grew too long. They began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. They set off to find night. And she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get to the to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors, and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night, everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told herself, a uh, day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are most beautiful. It's when you are the most, you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little? Not even at all? Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night ret returned to day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of the moonlight. They were inseparable from the mo that moment on, and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on their sunniest day and on their darkest night and every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know, light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sula rose the next morning beaming. There would be no, no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up to the sky on the darkest night to see herself. Sulwe felt beautiful inside and out. The end. Thank you so much. Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. It's a very powerful message to find that beauty that lies inside you, to appreciate yourself for you. And remember that others should also appreciate you for you. Do not change for anybody else. Be yourself. You are beautiful the way you are. All right. This book is from Lupita Nyong'o. It's written by Lupita Nyong'o and um, illustrations by Vashti Harrison. And Lupita Nyong'o actually has um, a note for us. So the author's note, I'll just read that quickly for you kids and everybody that is watching. Just so you hear a little bit about the history of this book. She says, Lupita says, much like Sulwe, I got teased and taunted about my nightshaded skin. I prayed to God that I would wake up with paler skin. I tried all sorts of things to lighten my complexion. My mother told me often that I was beautiful. But she's my mother. Of course she's supposed to think that. It wasn't until I was much older that my feelings about my skin changed. It helped to see dark-skinned women being celebrated for their beauty. If they were beautiful, I could be too. 
I began to see myself differently. While both Sulwe and I had to learn to see our beauty, I hope that more and more children begin their lives knowing that they are beautiful. That they can look to the beauty in the world and know they are a part of it. And yet, what is on the outside is only one part of being beautiful. Yes, it is important to feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. But what is even more important is working on being beautiful inside. That means being kind to yourself and to others. That is the beauty that truly shines through. The journey I went on was different from Sulu's nighttime adventure. But the lesson was the same. There is much beauty in this world and inside you that others are not awake to. Don't wait for anyone to tell you what is beautiful. Know that you are beautiful because you choose to be. Know that you always were and always can be. Treasure it and let, the, let, the light, let it light the way in everything you do. So kids... That is a very powerful message. You are beautiful and always remember that. And this especially goes to you, to my beautiful chocolate brown skin girls out there. Remember that your skin is lovely and you are beautiful. And everybody else, we need the whole shade. We need the variety. Everybody is beautiful. Remember that, everybody that is watching out there. Be kind to others. Be kind to yourself most importantly, and remind yourself of that. So if you need a reminder of the beauty that you have on the inside, don't look far. Look at yourself. You are the beauty that we need in this world. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. And right now, we're just going to give some more shout outs. Just look at who else has joined us uh, for our reading. Yes, yeah, so uh, I can see that... Um, Danny says, good story. Thank you so much. Yes, it is a very cute story. Very powerful, very um, empowering. And thank you, everybody, for joining in. Yes, good morning to you, Lacey. Good morning to you, Mahari Moore. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad that you could join us. Good morning to you. Yes, add this book to your library. It is amazing. It is empowering. Thank you so much and good morning to you, uh, Didier. Uh, hopefully you are smiling as usual. Love that beautiful smile. I miss you, buddy. Hopefully I will see you soon. Yes. And good morning to you, Maria, joining us from El Sobrante. Welcome to you. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Lily, yes, I know. Love the book too. It is amazing. Good morning to you, Zaye. And Zaye, thank you for the recommendation. This was a recommendation from Zaye. Much appreciated, sweetheart. And love you always. Good morning to you, yes, Zaye. Good morning to you, Jack in Portland. Yes, good morning to you. Haven't seen you in a minute, my boy. Welcome back. And good morning to you, Roz Collins. Thank you so much, Katie. It's always good to hear the feedback. I know that there's so many people that have great stories, great books that maybe I have not come across yet. So please keep sending recommendations that we may share right here on Storytime. Otherwise, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. And remember that tomorrow we are back with a different kind of book, but yet exciting just as much. If you want to bring an alligator to school, don't. And trust me, kids, I know. Do not bring that alligator to school. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in wherever you are. Santino, good morning to you and good morning to your sister, Catalea. I'm so glad everybody could join in. Remember, find that beauty inside and I will see you tomorrow right here. If you want more of story time, please go to our page right here on Facebook. You'll find all the stories that we've read and later on, including this one that we just read, which is Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. And then you can go to our YouTube page. You'll find all our stories and also on Instagram. Thank you so much. Yes, and Ms. Vera says we do have Sulwe in the Emerson Library. So absolutely kids when we get back to school that day comes when we are back at emerson be sure to check that book out 
<laughs> Vincent loves the alligator book. Yes, it's for you. It's for you, young man. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a lovely, lovely day. Much love from myself, and I will see you tomorrow. Mahari, give yourself a big hug for me. I will see you tomorrow. So glad everybody could join in. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Much love.